Exactly, and hopefully they put some priority on trying to deny Ember Spirit of getting the runes because Ooh, that's how you really screw them up. Scourge McDuck falling incredibly low, and there it is, the first blood for the Brewmaster. Ends up being two points in the Thunderclap. Because they're rushing the, the Ring of Health, like, there's like one window to really mess with them, and then once that happens, you can't really touch them afterwards, and nice job from uh, the Brood, able to punish that. Gosh, this bottom lane. Oh my god, B God. No chance he continues that. Rotation from B God, though, he does have that blast off as well. And thinking of using it. Do they have the damage to actually finish off the Necro, though? Another sticky bomb coming up cooldown, but it's just too tanky. And Avalanche toss rotation to the backside from Tiny. A nice wraparound. All right, very nicely done. And that gives Necro the six and just a chance to heal back up as well. Little Nick bottom lane getting ran down here is, uh, you know, one of his, uh, his techies goes to the mid lane, but wait a minute. Oh, nice save. B God actually kind of got baited on the Siggy Bomb there. And so compared to the mid lane matchup, it's about as expected. You're number one on network here on the Necro Post. Top lane though, going aggressive here onto the Bristleback. He is level six. He managed to take down the Tiny and Shaggy showing up as well. Underneath the tower is going to be the Storm Panda. Ed's immediately He's taken down. And he might be able to just turn this around. <laughs> Absolutely. Bottom lane, Scourge McDuck can try and just chase down the Tinies. He got silenced up by the Techies. A pretty easy pick off here. I mean, before Tiny hits level 6, zero armor. Bristleback, quite good. He went nothing, but speaking of the split, top lane, Little Nick just getting beat down by the split. All right, nicely done. And they'll be able to probably finish off the tower here. Uh, well, I say that Ember Spirit's seeping in. He wants to contest. Is the split's gonna end? Gets the Searing Chains right underneath the tower. He's got that cold embrace, but the Flame Guard level four does come out, and it's gonna do a ton of damage onto the Brewmaster. He just needs a slide of fist, but doesn't even look like it's gonna matter. Ends up getting the kill. B God now with his deep Brewmaster. Do they have the damage to finish him off? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, nice force staff like you were talking about. In comes the Dawnbreaker and the Ice Blast is coming through. They've managed to get on top of the Necrophos and the question is, can they finish it off? Of course, there's gonna be that Winter's Curse to stall this one out. Sexy Yogi on the run, super low, bomb off the mark and Infested Lifestealer making his way to the top. They might not see him. He's just blending <laughs> into the creep wave. They didn't realize, and now Lil Nick on the run. He's gonna get traded though. A one for one offlane for offlane. Lifestealer's rage though has cooled down, and he's actually taking a ton of damage here. Yeah, not so tanky once that rage runs out. How long on ice blast? Twenty seconds. B God does have a minefield behind the tower if they try to go for the dive. Yeah, the mine's definitely helping them just stall out this area so Bristleback can get to his time even faster. All right, he's got the Axe done, the Soul Ring on his way to the BKB next. Like, he's just actually not worried about joining the game for a bit, but he might need to as Shaggy's about to meet his... Oh, he has no Reaper Scythe at all. But he's still dead. Five heroes in the top lane. I mean, they have been here for a while. The minefield. Yeah, there's your minefield. Like we said, he's set up. <laughs> He's gonna punish the tiny, but uh, ends up being a double kill for the life stealer. It's been a long time coming up. Yeah, that's when it gets scary, right? Once you can, if you can BKB and then just two shot the storm panda, like that should be good enough to play these fights. Oh man, B God, kind of. Well, he's gonna still get the kill. Got baited a little bit. The vessel though is completed here on the brewmaster, so a little bit scary. Does have remnants to play with, and there's all oh, beautiful chains on to do the ice blast to follow. Life Stealer goes down first, and now he's just got to run away on the fire panda. Reaper Scythe comes in, but not nearly enough damage to finish off the Ember Spirit. Now, AMB, you're in deep, brother. Way too much of a commitment there. Right, but they're gonna try, they're bringing in some heroes. Necro, no Reaper Scythe available. The Spirit Vessel is a lot of damage, but. Oh, that is a dead AA. On the back side of the fight, Techies jumps on in, gets the kill on one, but Ice Blast might take down the Brewmaster. Now it's just gonna be SMD trying to chase. Another vessel does come through though, Slight of Fist Spam from Shaggy on the back side, but SMD just trying to wait this vessel out. Necropho is able to keep himself alive, and Infest comes through as well. Shaggy on the Ember just gets popped underneath the tier two. 
Try to see if there's anything like big coming up for any of these heroes. Top lane, they find a Brewmaster. Silence up the remnants coming through. They finish them off. The Winther's Curse actually dodged by Shaggy there to actually get that kill. And AMB will be able to finish off the Techies. Dawnbreaker comes in. Little Nick to help take down the Wyvern. AMB now on the run. He does have the Ghost Shroud for a little bit of time. Reaper Scythe is available. Shaggy forced to BKB. In comes the Tiny. In comes the Lifestealer. And they will find themselves a return kill. A two for two. The Reaper side stack going the way of the Necro. And Bulls and extending his life for a tiny bit. Oh, they go in, they find Jube. That's the perfect target. No Ice Blast for this fight. And that's going to create a huge issue for the side of the cut. But they do manage to take down the Brewmaster with the silence from B-God. And now Cold Embrace on the backside for the Tiny. Tried to do what they can. Little Nick snipes the Wyvern. Three dead on the side of the Brood. Now looking for more as the Necrophos just gets destroyed by the Bristleback. And again, it's Lifestealer versus the world trying to TP home. Yeah. But we're back into the game. Reaper Scythe comes through. Shaggy survives. Dawnbreaker trying to join the fray. And Necrophos able to get the four staff in the low ground. So he's doing great. But Scourge McDuck here on the Bristleback kind of being controlled up for the moment. Lifestealer wanting to start to join the fight. But Dawnbreaker needs to disengage. Brewmaster, one split left. It just came off cooldown. B God, no silence to stop him. He's going to be forced to throw it. And Tiny. He's looking for an Avatos target here once again. He's going to maybe just set up the techies, but he's actually off the mark. Completely. the BKB comes out from Little Nick and Scourge McDuck. He still has his available. He used to get out here on the Dawnbreaker. B-God, he's channeling that blast off, trying to decide when to go in. Will drop it, finds the Tiny, but there's the Infest there. Ice Blast way off the mark, but the buyback coming through from Shaggy. Getting put to good use. They managed to take down the Brewmaster, and now the Tiny as well. Lifestealer on the run, has the Rage to work with, but... I don't know how he gets away. They're just going to kite him out. He has no TP for 15. And that is it. A double kill for Scourge. He just beats him down. Five. Jubei using this gem to get the D ward there. And Brewmaster now on the run. Forced to pop his first split. About five seconds for the next charge to come off cooldown. But on the back side of the fight, they do manage to snipe that ancient apparition. He's going to buy back. Double four staffs coming through. Jubei. He's still got an Ice Blast to work with. So the question is, who can they use it on? Necrophos caught in the cold embrace. And the Dawnbreaker to join the fray. It looks like you might be in trouble here on the Necro. Nice Winter's Curse. The hero that's going to kill him is in the skies. He is just coming right back down to the Ice Blast. Next on to two AMB as well as Sexy Yogi trying to TP on home. I don't know, man. How do you get away from this Bristleback? He's got a bash. It hits the Life Stealer. And he's going to try and turn around and fight up into him. But it's just too much damage. Double kill for SMD. Probably just let a timeout instead. Oh, upside. There's a blast off. They find a tiny and they've now recovered the gem. Egon has a BKB. Winter's Curse comes through, but Dawnbreaker is not close enough. But all right, they got him. BKB comes out for B-God trying to run away. He's got the taser, but it's not going to be enough. A and B manages to find the kill. So two heroes dead on the side of the cut. A little bit of an overextension there as they try to finish off. I think just the start of him, but. They actually lack the damage, really. Like, yeah. it is uh, pretty close enough to kill, but nice catch on the Wyvern here. Yeah, beautifully done here by Shaggy, and it will be uh, a pretty easy kill. 50 seconds, actually doesn't have the buyback, and they managed to find a Brewmaster on the side. Is he chained that he's dead? Oh no. The Bash into the Abyssal, the Starbreaker, they got him. Yeah, and that's the gem, but, you know, they don't have any waves. Tiny's pinging up the heads up. But Tiny doing a very nice job of just cutting the waves and being super, super annoying. Oh, little okay, next down. Okay. I'm happening to walk underneath the sentry there. <laughs> it's funny, the sentry is just placed there from oh, the he has previous gem. engagement. I forgot. Yeah, they, they took the gem. Uh, mid lane, they actually find the Brewmaster again. So, B God just setting up these kills with the blast off. It's working. And Sexy Yogi trying to get away here from Ancient Apparition as Jubei is just sniping him down. No, okay, I mean doesn't matter. I guess they're just diving the base now. Instead, his life stealer is just dead as well. Okay. All right. All right. Triple buybacks coming through. One tier four is down. Avalanche tossed back, trying to get on top of the Ember Spirit, but a nice slide chain to hold him in place. Tiny going to get taken down there by Lil Nick. Just bonked by the hammer. There's going to be the Reaper side, though, to find the return kill, but Scourge McDuck is still alive. No BKBs available for the side of the cut as they're going to finish off the melee barracks in the, uh, in the mid lane and just turn their attention to the bottom lane of Rax. 
Oh, yep, there it is. Control. The follow-up with nice B-God. Once again, the Abyssal Blade comes through the silence. Is it enough to finish him off? He gets put under the Ice Blast coming through to try and snipe him, but it's not going to come through in time. He's going to be forced to split one more. Now Bristleback needs to try and be careful. Needs to back out. DKB coming on cooldown in about 15 seconds, but a ton of damage actually coming in from the Ember as well. Dude, they just don't have the damage. Bristleback's just yeah, going to turn around. He popped the Ghost Shroud. It's just going to be a matter of time before B-God comes in. In comes the Dawnbreaker, the buyback, trying to stun him up, but it's not going to connect. Does have the Starbreaker, but he gets that Ghost Shroud off one more time. He managed to take down the Winter Wyvern. Will Nick with BKB, the second Starbreaker, out onto the Necrophos with the Infest to keep him alive. And now Nick's actually in pretty dang far. Like, so unable to stay on top of his target, though. Now Jubei may have been baited in here a little bit too far by his course. You have Jubei here, but pretty, uh, pretty tough. Okay, sees how low it is. All right, all right. Pretty sick play Not there from Tiny. He gets the Roshan, steals the Aegis. Did he get the Shard as well? Okay, no, Dawnbreaker has the Shard. That's going to be the Reaper's side. Does manage to get the buybacks, though, and... I mean, Tiny able to rejoin the fray. He's just got to run away. Little Nick, no BKB. He's got no way to get away. And he got comes in instead, does pop the taser, get the BKBs, come through the rage. There's going to be the Ice Blast as well. So now you've lost the Necro. You've lost the life. So that's a dieback on one of them. And Bristleback is still alive. Tiny now in some trouble, found in the mid lane. And there it is. The GG call comes out. I think they realize, actually, was that a little bit too early? They're going to get the Ember. Okay, now they don't even get the Ember. Okay, they do. Wait, what? All right, XP BG fake team. GG? I don't know if that's allowed, guys. Come on. There's no take backs on the GG. All right, the game goes on, I guess. Okay. Uh, no, now they're like, wait a minute, we might have won the fight, GG. Never mind, okay, we lost the fight. No, GG. Yep. <laughs> Just trying to see. Okay. Game not ending? Okay, okay there ending. it goes. All right, all right. For about this four position razor for a while, I think. But Maybe that you being won't be. said, they're just gonna turn it on to Scourge here and first blood, yeah, goes the way of uh, the Furin, but you'll die in the process, so. I think you're pretty okay. Yeah, a true test of, you know, how powerful this hero is. Can he play support? Uh, bottom lane, face is void, just gets popped. Silence comes out, level three from the, uh, from the Skyroth. So what does Razor do at this stage, right? I is he even going to get Link? Maybe not. Maybe it's all about the I feel the like speed you definitely point. only have one point storm surge, right? I feel like going more than that is kind of a waste. Bottom lane, they take down the faceless void again. Oh boys, TP's gonna be on cooldown for twenty seconds as well. Warlock's happy with this. He gets to he gets to free farm a bit, but definitely not good. Yeah, not at all. Uh, well, while uh, Face the Void's making that walk of shame, we can uh, tell you a little bit about our sponsor. Did you have this brought to you by Thunderpick, of course? And Thunderpick, you can head on over to their website, top off your wallet. They'll match up to 500 euros on your first deposit. Just make sure to use the promo. Doesn't quite Fury make it into raise. Oh my gosh, the Fury and Ulti just owns. Instead, AMB just getting clapped. Rotation in from Scourge McDuck. They'll just go ahead and settle for two quick kills, plus the Catapult, plus the Sprout. I mean, yeah, that's rough, but at least the Brigitte to take away some stacks from the side of the cut. I mean, do they? Shaggy's coming in. He got stomped on the Dawnbreaker. Stomp. And there's the lasso, the Napalm coming through, the Wrath of Nature as well. And Razor might be able to run away. Once he gets into the Napalm stack, he'll be able to close the gap. And... Uh, Cogs, and oh my gosh, at the very edge, Jubei managed to hold him. And he has a flame break in too, but just a couple auto attacks can be all he needs. Shaggy away for free, it would seem. And man, if they actually happen to get like the hookshot initiation onto the Lena, this is gonna be so rough. They do have the Dawnbreaker to try and keep people alive, but Jubei, he's gonna be able to find her. Hookshot comes through, managed to get on top of the Dawnbreaker with B-God here. The silence doing a lot of work. Laguna does come through from AMB, and Jubei will fall. Big Wrath of Nature coming through. Dawnbreaker trying to TP home, will make it. 
SMB, he's lost a lot of damage in the top lane. Is AMB able to chase him down as well? Trying to juke it out. Big goal on the backside, able to stun up too. He does have a chrono, trying to avoid having to use it, but looks like it's going to end up working out as the rate. Chrono sure wasn't even used there too. Lasso top lane. Lasso. Dawnbreaker coming through to try and keep them alive, but Chronosphere does manage to hold three in place. Then comes the Raze and the Static Link doing some work, but Shaggy, he's got to get out of here. The time dilation, just too much damage. B God goes down as well. So you got the Lina, but it costs you two more heroes. Oh, maybe three actually. Is Jubei on the run? Does have a hook shot though, if he really needs it. Nice Cogs as well. Never mind. Let's catch him. Yep, toss Shaggy's back. here with the lasso. Does manage to get him, but Razor's here as well. Still ends up doing a ton of damage here on the Bat Rider. And even though Razor, yeah, you got the static link. You did what you could with the Eye of the Storm. Bat Rider stacks up that damage a lot faster. Yeah, very nicely done. You're playing against Boots to Travel, Bat Rider. Uh, no. And here it comes. The Avalanche, the toss right in place. The rotation on in. For the rest of the heroes, there goes the kill. And now SMB, he's... I mean, what an aggressive TP spot from the Nature's Prophet, just getting heavily punished. But Jubei comes in, hook shots those magic catch faces void, but there's no follow-up damage on this. It's just going to be the Razor kind of standing his ground here in the middle. Avalanche toss onto two, holding both supports into place. Shaggy again stacking up the damage. Golden does come down, only connects onto the clockwork, but... Uh-oh, awkward. Yeah. Awkward indeed as you now have a Skyrath Mage joining the fray. They're gonna just fall one by one here as Nick should be able to target. Well, actually, they only get they only get the Warlock. Razor still manages to stay alive, and the Fatal Bond's doing a ton of damage, almost taking down Jubei as well. And Ambi's back. The boots of travel have brought him into the fight. They get the clockwork. Laguna Blade comes out onto the Skyrath Mage, but snipes once again by the Dawnbreaker. All right, even He's gonna get pulled right into the lasso. The silence of the nation's prophet. They do have Dawnbreaker coming in to try and heal him up, and it looks like it will be enough. So the time walk does come through. Lena's boots of travel coming out now. Next, it, it seems like they keep stacking their stuns, and now Scourge is gonna be the one that's in trouble here. BKB comes out from the Dawnbreaker. All right, he's just a TP out. He's fine. Backside of the fight, Little Nick comes in, finds the Razor, Avalanche toss, trying to throw him away. Jubei with the hook shot, or with the cogs, trying to keep the Dawnbreaker at bay, but Little Nick starting to take on down 70 HP. The silence out from the Skyrath Mage. They managed to collapse on the Razor with the big Chronosphere onto two. They'll be able to settle for B God. The question is, can they get Shaggy? The Golem comes out three times on that time dilation, absolutely holding in place. Ends up being a beautiful fight from them. Triple kill for Little Nick. He just reinitiates to get the supports, but it's going to cost him his life. Yeah, Razor's working on a BKB soon too, so they're gonna have four at some point. They've already got three currently. Ooh, Chrono onto Chrono the Batrider. Dawnbreaker just gonna come through as well, make sure that they find this kill onto Shaggy, and he's dead. I mean, the Cutter 5k ahead, but honestly, it feels like they are behind in this game. Toss yeah, away gets does, bashed by the Dawnbreaker anyway. Yeah, I mean, one bash could have led to the Dawnbreaker getting in range with her basher, too. Yeah. Basher and Starbreaker. It's just like. It's a lot. Bottom lane. Yeah. Lena's found Scourge. He has the BKB, has the ability to TP on home, goes for the Sprout, trying to do it, but. Yeah, looks like he's going to make it out. Nicely done. And that's going to be the tier three potentially. But meanwhile, mid lane, they've caught the faceless void, but he gets the toss. It's going to be enough to finish him off. Okay. Wow. Perfect timing. Ready to go. Shaggy in with the BKB. Goes for the last. So just going to drag him right in range of the Nature's Prophets. They're just going to try and finish him off. The Sprout actually ends up being off the mark, but there's a hook shot from Jubei. He's caught him, but Shaggy falling low and fast needs help. Avalanche toss in from Nick. Just collapsed the Warlock. And now, Dawnbreaker, you are in deep. She's got that Starbreaker to try and buy some space, but there's the Sprout. Push back again. And. With the Bat Rider here, there's no chance you get out. So four heroes dead. The cut finally take them. Well, into the top lane. We're going to see them pick off that Faceless Void once again. It's the same combo. Avatos plus the Skyrath Mage. They've got his number. But the scan comes out. They manage to find the tiny. The bash in from the Dawnbreaker is enough. And Nick, he's stuck here. He can't TP on home. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a nice trade. Wait a minute. 
They didn't have detection for the moment, but they do end up finding it anyway. And Shaggy's here now on this bat rider. The BKB comes through. He's going to get the lasso onto that Lina, but he has got to get out of here. Scourge Duck with his aggressive TP as well. Catches the leash onto the Razor, but he's alone now. Can they actually finish off the Mystic Flare doing work? But Scourge goes down instead. Three oh, heroes no. fall, two without the buyback. They do end up finishing off the Lina, but that is honestly a... I mean, where are we at on Faces Void's farm as well? So he's queuing up a Satanic now. Yep, that's a big deal. Oh, bottom lane. You managed to find the raise and the lasso comes through, and it looks like they're just going to go ahead and right click him down. Avalanche as well, and that will be a pretty important pickoff for the Roshan. It did cost you your lasso, though. These uh, global TP heroes and the Dawnbreaker and the Boots of Travel and Lena to deal with it, but let's see. Maybe they can find the Warlock. Yep, they see him. Avalanche, toss, quick pick off. He does have the buyback. They're looking for more. Jetpack out from Jubei, scout in the skies. They do see the faces void. Flare in one, hook shot off the mark though. Doesn't connect. They end up finding A and B on the side. He's gonna go in this. Dust does not connect, but, oh, he ends up breaking it anyway. Lena in some trouble here. They've got the silence. They've got a lasso available. Sha oh no, Shaggy needs lasso in 20 seconds. They're just waiting for the face to They've got to be careful. He can't afford to get chrono but Lena's stuck. She's just sprout leashed, and now in comes the Dombrick and the Avalanche. The toss, the Lena is dead without the buyback, and the face is one on the backside. Does get caught by the silence. Again, waiting on that lasso cooldown. It's about seven seconds away. B God able to TP out the dodge out this Razor. And Faces Void will find the NP. He's gonna pop the Satanic, but the Abyssal Blade is there from the Dawnbreaker. There's gonna be the Lasso onto the Void. Is it enough to kill in the Avalanche, the Toss? It is, they get the kill. 80 seconds, no buyback on two cores, and the Leash will hold the Razor in place. He is in so much trouble, making a third, and now Warlock to get ran down. The fourth and final kill here. Going the way of the cut. That is about right. as good as it could about to have a Moon Shard. Time. Just wants to click damage. He's the right click there, you know. Oh, faces void, avalanche. In comes the yeah, Skyrath Mage ult is more than enough. Dawnbreaker's gonna join the fray. Razor just trying to chase down the Batrider, and they got him. Ends up being punished pretty heavily. Jubei goes in with the hook shot, but might regret this one. Does not have that jetpack to get himself out. Ends up being three dead for the cut. All right, all right. Nice for the brave. They can potentially get uh, to one more item. Yeah, Batrider closer with the pressure. That'll be huge. Breaker old top lane. Shaggy is just getting owned by this Razor. The lasso comes through, but he's just dead. He just died wow. solo to the Razor. And now Dawnbreaker. Uh, she doesn't have BKB, but AMB is closing in. They do see him for the moment. Mystic Flare doing some work onto the Dawnbreaker, but Scourge McDuck. In some trouble, he's gonna pop that Satanic, not really healing enough, thanks to the sky, the gold does come down, Avalanche toss in from Nick, the second toss as well, and he goes down, Nick with the BKP, the dude is just crushing on this tiny, he's the real carry, Scourge McDuck comes back with the Aegis, he's just TPing to the Fountain, he wants to go right for their base wow. instead, and now, it's just little Nick who's been carrying this fight on the tiny, they finally crumble on the Brute, diebacks on the Razor, no buybacks on the Lina, or your face is void, is Scourge McDuck now, Actually gets dusted up here by the Dawnbreaker. He's still got a Satanic to work with, but the Abyssal Blade comes through. And he'll be able to try and heal himself right back up. He does no problem at all. He's just <laughs> waiting for the rest of his team to get here. There's going to be the Sprout Leash, and yeah, he's got him. Wow. GG comes all out. Right. They do GG. manage to finally finish off this game. Dude, this game looked a little sketch from the cut. I thought there was a few moments where they may not be able to close this one out, but... Dude, I thought the brewer. Right.